the world describes freedom as a life that has no caution. There is no restraint. Hi everyone. You are welcome back to my channel. This place, you wake up smiling. You feel no harms. And your bondage will be removed. Bring it the good news. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to you. Right from United Arab of Emirates. And if you are new in this place, my name is Oluwada Milola Matthew. Today we want to talk about the most important thing that God is looking for in the life of every believer. Many of us hearts, like a professional, we believe that we are safe, but we don't really trust in God. People believe in gospel, but they don't allow it to transform their hearts. Proverbs chapter 3 says, Learn not in your own understanding. In all your way, acknowledge him, and he's going to direct your path. Throughout last week, I was asking myself a question that why devil continue defeat and afflict believer. I come to the realization that truly majority believe that they are still working in the path of disobedience. Majority are so carried away with the activities in the church. They are ready to save many, but they are on their way to hell. They are preaching, but they have let their soul in the hands of Satan. Little forces is afflicted believer. Since the fall of Adam and Eve, the seed of disobedience, it has passed to the human being. The word describes freedom as a life that has no caution. There is no restraint. Though Jesus Christ was the Son of God, but all sin took upon himself the form of man. He humbled himself. It became necessary for Jesus to obey. He was not be able to do a single thing without being his Father. What makes us different? It is not the level of miracle that we perform or the way we are dressing. Maybe because I don't use earring, I don't expose myself. Now I don't put on wigs, I don't put on makeup. It has simplified me. As a genuine believer, God is calling everyone to be obedient unto Him. I love 2 Corinthians chapter 10. He said, when your obedience is complete, God is ready to offend every spirit of disobedience. God is calling every believer. God is calling you to total obedience. He does not need your partial obedience. Obedient to his voice. Obedient to his way. Jesus never moved. He never acted on his own. On his own personal wings. When he got to the grave of Nazareth, to his father, before he can perform any miracle, fellow believer that is listening to me, you are an ambassador, a chosen generation, a royal priest. You are a peculiar. You must be a representative of your father in total obedience. Not partial obedience. Enough of acting in nature. Enough of acting in your own flesh. Enough of hatred in the fine yard. Enough of gossiping. When you die today, where are you going to? When, what, when do you think will be your own last day? There is one common uniform that every one of us, we are going to wear it. And you don't know when you are going to wear the uniform of your own death. 
Why do you want to be the partaker of another man's sin? Why don't you let go of little malice that is in your heart? Why people are using you as an instrument to destroy the life of others? God is calling you to total obedience. Look around you. How many of you you started this year? How many of them have been in the grave? Question God is asking Adam and Eve. Is who told you? God is asking you that same question. That who told you? To do what you are doing. Who is giving you instruction? Are you listening to the voice of your father or you are listening to the voice of people around you? Is God told you to be doing what you are doing? Or it is an information people are giving to you. You now base your action on it. Repentance from the dead work. Learn from the life of prodigal sons. He look inside of himself. Repentance demands self-assessment. Examine yourself. Whether you are still in the Christ, God is calling you today to repent. His harm is open and wide to save you from every of your dead work. Although the world that we are living, it may make you to feel like you are the only sinner in the world. Even people in the church, believers around you, they may make you to feel there is no sinner that is greater than you. He's calling you to look unto him. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. The brother of prodigal son. Make a prodigal son to feel worthless. Like someone that doesn't have rights to wear a beautiful garment again. Someone that doesn't have rights to come back to the fireyard of his father. The brother of prodigal son. He made the prodigal son to feel like someone that there is no more second chance for. I don't know, maybe you are, look, you are listening to this program. And people around you are making you to feel like there is no more second chance for you. As far as you have a life, you are still breathing. There is a life for you. If a tree is being caught and it's not uprooted, Brad Job told us that that tree will come out again and it will come out stronger and beautiful than before. Don't allow activities in the church to carry you away. God is calling you for repentance. Repentance takes a great work. Unceasing prayer, untiring effort to live according to his commandments. No murmuring, no keeping manners, no grudges, no unforgiveness. Why do I need to keep anyone in heart? When I know that the one I'm serving is the great man in battle, why do you want to fight the battle that you are less consigned? When your father gave you a promise that whatsoever you say to my ears, I will do according to your word. When he has told you that you are my ambassador and a representative, have you seen any ambassador? Yet on hate, and they fall into trouble, and their own country forgets them. No, they cannot. They need to come to their rescue. The purpose of hunger in the life of anyone is to kill or destroy, and to steal their peace and joy. Why don't you let go of that little forces? Now, now God to stool on your behalf. Don't forget. That your warfare is not carnal, but it is mighty to put down every strong goal. We must recognize our sin, our weaknesses, and stop self-righteousness. God is calling you to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. People may make your life to be miserable. Even because they know you are a believer, your salvation may cost you tears. It may cost you an abuse. 
that is calling you today to let go. Allow him to be the captain of your salvation. I recounted my experience of repentance from my dead work. My soul was troubled to the greatest degree. I remember how I gave a chance to the devil to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I want you to learn from experience of others. Our greatest example is Jesus. We can learn the lesson of total surrender in the life of Abraham. Life of self-control. In the life of Joseph, some believer, even they step on their toes. The spirit of anger and malice will not allow them to take rest. I want you to sit where you are. Think about yourself. If today is your last day, are you going to see Christ in that day? If there is a rapture today, are you going to be rapturable? There is a song in my local language which says, you are right, me there is still a country that we are all going back to. God is calling you for self-control and total surrender. Total surrender means what to tell me is what I am going to do. Where you send me is where I am going to. Voice alone is what I'm going to listen it to. I'm going to listen it to what my flesh is telling me. I'm not going to listen to the voice of woman, but I'm going to follow the voice of my maker. Don't you look at the life of Black Paul. When it comes to the altar of sacrifice and total surrender, he has a new life and new hope. Paul says in the book of Galatians, chapter 2, verse 20, I am crucified with Christ. It is no longer I that I live. But Christ who live in me. Are you having a daily encounter with your maker? Or you are having only daily encounter with woman being? We are not surrendered to fear or threatening. But we surrender total to the one who holds the heaven and earth. And everything that is thereof. Can you look at the life of Rabbi? The one who persecuted the church. Who killed many believers. He became the man that wrote text that stood in the Bible. A great apostle. A church planter. The Lord is ready to take you from where you are. To give you today a new life and new hope. A life of impact. Star surrender means my heart password. It is no longer working. Because I have received a new password. My heart serve. It has been crucified at the cross of a Calvary. I am not the new person. A partaker of the death, resurrection, and burial of our Lord Jesus Christ. It simply means I am automatically dead to sin. My communication to heart serve. It has been cut off. If you are listening to this program and you have not given your life to Christ, today is still another great day for you. Why do you want to allow Satan to rip your soul? Why do you want to labor so hard in this life? And you don't have a better ending. He's waiting to receive you. His hand is ready to change your life to the person of impact. 
have a glorious day. If you are listening to this program, you are being blessed. Don't forget to like, leave your comments, and also subscribe. Hope to see you again. Bye for now.